so it came out yesterday and as soon as I turned the key I didn't hear my air dog priming so I'm checking this out today the truck wouldn't start yesterday and after the second try of starting it I heard the air dog try to prime but it wasn't the usual tone that seems to be pretty loud and the only thing you can hear near the truck for a good 10 feet all right um, so we'll check it out drain the factory everything here So, so far, no prime of the air dog. It's plugged in. So I'm gonna see if I get anything from the factory. So we'll plug it in. Of course, there's no feed line going into it, so it'll be nothing but air going up. Once we'll get that out, once we figure out what's going on. Uh, so this is my feed line going into the factory. Nothing but air will be going in there. And so, primed earlier. Air dog didn't come on. I guess I should check to see if it's getting power. I'll bring my um, meter out a little. Check for the factory prime. So factory was priming. Disconnect that again. And do a few more tests. Something's tricky. So 
if I can get closer. So this is the power wire going to the front. And voltage here will come off of the two wire here. So I'm gonna check to see if I get any kind of voltage receiving into the air dog. So right now I'm testing the voltage. So you have fuse there that's good. And it's coming into yellow, which is right there. And I'm gonna be testing the power that's actually going to the air dog, which is this red here. So the red on top. Testing the voltage on that one. See what I get. See what's coming out of this relay to see if it's actually good. All right, so this is how I got it connected. Voltage coming into the air dog is reading only at about one voltage. So I'm gonna go change the relay, come back and see what I get after. All right, so I jumped into a side of the relay that was sewing 12 volts and right now I split my connection here just to make sure that the air dog is getting power and it's just the relay so looking a direct source 12 volt that I know is coming off of here into let's see where's my line into here to see if the, the air dog runs Did hear it spin. Let's try it again. Cut back a little bit more wire. I heard it run once. All right, so, got a straight 12 volt. I'm gonna connect here to make sure it's just my relay. Pump runs with straight 12 volt power. So I'm gonna replace my relay and go from there. Also a note that the factory pump is not strong enough to actually, of course, pump everything through the air filter or air dog. So I might need to carry a backup connection so I can feed directly into the, um, the factory just in case this happens again. So I'll find a feeding for here. So, quick connect fitting there. They can actually screw into that one. This is my feed line coming from the tank. Alright, so I went to O'Reilly's and I'm going to try this relay out. I'm going to connect in. And hopefully, we get everything started. Alright, so replace the relay and Still nothing. I just remember it, that on my wiring here, there's a key on fuse that goes to the tap there. Pulled it out. It's the number five. And it's actually over here. Take a look at it. Pull on. So I'm going to replace it. I got a five here. And also have a tin up that has the what do you call it it glows whenever it whenever it's blown I'm gonna put the 
five back in it and then replace these fuses here with the ones that actually glow when they glow. And of course, the sound that I'm used to hearing, loud air dog, replace the fuse and we are good.